Hello once again ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Hedgehog 2010 currents you with episode 7 of Let's Play Half-Life for the PC. In the next, or last episode rather, we just turn on the fuel and the oxygen pumps. In this episode, we just need to turn on the power pumps and everything is set to go. Now, as you come over here, you'll see this big wide gap. It's not very pretty, but it is easy to jump. Um, so, it does require you to do a crouch jump command, otherwise it's not going to work. So you want to go to the very, very right side of the bridge and make a duck jump. Very simple, very simple. Now when you come over here, you see you're going to have to make another jump, but as you can see, there's just going to be just enough gap to cross this. So just take your time, and there's a zombie there. Give him a friendly uh, hello to the back of the forehead. It's whatever. Alright, so continuing on. Continuing on. Yeah, see, it's a good thing I got rid of that alien earlier, too, because that would have just been the most unfortunate. Because as much as it's not too damage worthy he can destroy these fuel cans which will destroy this bridge which is never good which is never good so try and take him out as early as you can within the um, level and you'll be fine now believe it or not if, if you see the shiny uh, uh, glitter of this floor that means it's just filled with water um, as you turn on the power um, there's like a shortage or something this will electrify the puddle of water over here so what I like to do is say hello to my friends and there's another monster right there Let's see if I can give them a surprise attack here <laughs> oh that's awesome okay so anyway like I was saying um, what I like to do is carry these over and to grab a hold of items to push him and whatnot pull him push him whatever you want to do um, just hold the use key and you'll be able to um, do that take these boxes across this to form a bridge it's not really that hard to do just you know do what you can there's three more so let's go on ahead and do that if I can grab a hold of the box Jesus Christ all right all right so let's go on ahead and push this box over here not really a big deal but you know I like to get this done as early as possible. It's kind of required that you do this before you even turn the power on. Because if you don't, it's just going to make things a lot more harder on your end. It's just <laughs> harder. Um, it's just going to make things a lot more harder on your end. It's not even going to be worth the pain and the trouble. So just do it as early as you can. And if we can push this box over. Now we should be able to make a crouch jump across onto this box. But as long as we got that out of the way, I don't care. Alright, so I would not recommend using this elevator at all. Because once that elevator goes down, it's going to stop. It's going to collapse into that big green pool of whatever. If you turn on your flashlight, you'll notice a ladder right there. It's a lot better. And you know what? I'm going to save before I do this. Alright, so it's going to be a lot better if you just run and grab a hold of the ladder and climb all the way down. It's a lot safer that way, and I highly recommend that you do that. Ouch. Yeah, see, I, see, I just... See how much damage you just take when you just drop in? Oh my fucking god, I just fell in, and thank god it's on easy mode, because otherwise... Ugh. All right, so yeah, see, so he's gonna tell you that his friend went up there, but he never came back. 
So you're going to have to go over there and see what's up. Um, at this point, if you walk across that, that's high radiation. You do not want to go past there. Instead, you want to make a starting run and crouch jump up there. It's a lot safer that way. I recommend it. And you'll be creating with a guy down there. Alright, so when you come into this room, you'll be greeted with a snot rag monster down there. Just throw a grenade down there, and he's dead. Alrighty, so, turn it on. Now, you'll be greeted to this room with side swiping uh, things. I don't know what they're called exactly. But they will push you off. They will push you away. They will crush you, so stay clear from them. Might be the wisest thing to do. Now you come over here and you'll see these two buttons. Turn them on. See what the scientist has to say. Yeah, okay, whatever. Whatever, silly cookie. So turn the power on. The electricity will be started. Keep an eye on that thing right there. Oh goodness, you know, I should have just went the other way, but you know, it's kind of too late for that right now. But come over here, drop down here. Um, uh, oh shit, okay. Yeah, see? Yeah. That would have just been very, and very laggy. Whoa. It just froze for a minute, and it's probably because of my fraps. It's probably doing a thing. It's where, oh, well, this has enough time for the footage. Let's go on ahead and start new footage. So, no. Someone has restored all power. We'll have the engine up again in no time. Okay, whatever. So, now you're going to climb all the way back here. Turn on your flashlight. Might be a best idea at this point. Alright, so you might want to slow down here because you will see a ledge exactly like this right here. Oh god! Oh. Okay, you know what? That might be a best idea to just inch across. If I can. Oh, okay, I can. Awesome. Pure awesome. Wow, I've taken so many risks and Look where it got. See, like I said, electricity will start shocking the water. And that's why I formed this bridge earlier. Because, oh my god, if you step on it, you'll take damage. So it's whatever. So we got the power, we got the fuel, and the oxygen turned on. Now what's only left to do is to test that fire. Alrighty inch across here once more you'll be greeted again by this part save right here because I know uh, as many times as I tried doing this it's been a fail but let's see and okay we're safe cool it's just for safety precautions and oh my god that guy is just really happy to see me it's like I want to be your friend Knock, knock, knock. It's like constant knocking. So anyway, you'll be... Oh, god damn it. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's that's just way too close. Way too close. Alright, four more grenades. We should have enough grenades to inch across this bad boy and get over to... Oh, fuck. That was really close. Okay, fuck it, I'm running away. Okay, so, come over here. And you want to go back to the control room. And there's going to be another gap. You be careful with that gap. Alright, so you come into this room. You see all the lights are on. Time to test the fire. Take a step back because you will take damage. And as you will see, you test the fire and you'll get rid of our nasty little trouble right there. As Duke Nukem would say, take those tentacles, shove them up your ass, take 
you back in Japan, you fucking freak. <sighs> Alright, so we're done with that. But we are not done with the level yet. There's still more to this level, believe it or not. And yeah, that, that fire blast will um, activate these bombs, which will kill that security guard, unfortunately. But you get ammunition out of it, so it's not really all a bad thing. I've stayed before in past episode. It's survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. So once you're done, you're going to climb all the way down through this little mess and fog and you know, it's a ladder down there. You couldn't get to it because, you know, the monster is just having a grand old time with this hole. It's ridiculous. Okay, so climb on down. Take your time. Do not even rush yourself. Don't even think about just, Oh, look, I just got rid of this guy. I am God, smack. Yeah, because you'll take plenty of damage if you fall in the wrong areas here, which is never fun. Now, when you get down to this area, you will see um, a body of water down there. You want to just drop down, reach for it, and you... Oh, shit. Yeah, see that? See, that guy's twitching. That's never good. Alright, so, but we're not going to move on because, you know, when you do enter this room, you will notice a dead security guard, but you'll get a nice little magnum out of it if you come back up here. So, it's really well worth just um, going back up and get that. So, swim on down, and you'll be taken across this little lovely thing right here. You might want to climb down here if you want to recharge your health and armor whatnot you are definitely gonna need it for the upcoming part for the next level yeah we're almost done with this level we're almost done with this level it's not too far off now we just gotta cross a few more obstacles here and there and we'll be good to go so from this point you're gonna have to start running across these pipelines here just Duck right here. Run, duck. And I don't think there's going to be enough. Okay, yeah, there is going to be enough room. But that's fine. Just take your time. You'll see a big gap on a bridge. You could be brave enough to jump it, but I recommend uh, turn this valve over here to form the pipe. And it'll stop right there. Then you have to go inside the pipe. Don't drop down. You might take damage. Though, what do I know? Um, you will see a gap right here. Just easily run and jump if you can. Alright. Now, be careful with this part. Because this upcoming part, you will see that the pipe will break on you. And there is you are going to take damage regardless. Regardless. So... That's why I recommend, uh, oh crap! Yeah, see, look how much health that just took away from me, and all I did was take a fall. Okay, well, anyway. You come in here, and you'll be introduced to a new weapon. These are tripwire mines. Um, I don't usually use these. I, I, actually, I hardly use these at all, so... They're just fun to look at. It's whatever. Break down all these crates. You'll be introduced to more ammunition. Some more health. Actually, there might be enough health here to regenerate half the health that you just lost by taking that nasty fall. So, that's really good. Okay, I guess not. So, we are basically done with this level. So... In the next episode, we will encounter the next chapter, which is called, um, I think it's either called Power Out or Power Surge, whatever. So, until then, everyone, this is a Blue Hedgehog 2010, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day.